actress, model, and award-winning cry for help. Icon, philanthropist, and answer to the question, can I still be a proud boy if I'm covered in last night's shame? Yes, you can. Oh, Melbourne. Like giving a hand job to an octogenarian before prostate surgery. Tonight has been a long time coming. And for those of you who don't know who I am, that's homophobia. <laughs> because I'm an inspiration, an aberration, and an unbeatable argument for retroactive birth control. I'm a proud gay man, but I'm also the reason there's a lock on the closet door. I don't want to say I'm too effeminate. But in kindergarten, when the nurse saw me run, she said, either that kid is gay or he has polio. <laughs> either way, we'll need a lot of penicillin. <laughs> in short, I am what happens if you tell your children they can be anything! <laughs> and who better to heal us after a year of trauma? Because I know 2020 was rough. 2020 was rocky. 2020 was bumpier than driving a tractor through a toddler's birthday party. 2020 was like ordering sliding doors, Gwyneth Paltrow, and getting goop, Gwyneth Paltrow. And then having a vagina candle blow up in your face. Let's be honest, it's like we ordered 2020 from Wish. And what happened? What did it do? It left us broken, alone, confused, on our knees, with our heads turned heavenwards, crying out into the void. What did we do to deserve this? Well, <laughs> we ruined the planet, we dispossessed, imprisoned, and slaughtered First Nations people, we enforced gender roles, we systemized rape, racism, misogyny, transphobia, homophobia, ableism, classism, and unsustainable food industries. We allowed fossil fuel companies to operate our elected officials like ventriloquist dummies from hell, raping our planet for economic gain. We turned the prisons and military into big business. We sold our land, our resources, our water table, and the port of Darwin to the Chinese, who we're now in a trade war with. We empowered the church to such a degree it's now just a tax haven for pedophiles, with the ability to manipulate government policy and mandate legislation on women's bodies without their consent. And we bred dogs to a superficial aesthetic level so they can no longer breathe. But pugs are so cute the way they suffocate when they walk. Their eyes are pointing in different directions because they're asking both owners to kill them. <laughs> but that's just a theory. Just as every cops are criminal and all the sinners saints. Just call me Lucifer, cause I'm in need of some restraint. Ooh. Australia. What a time to be alive, huh? This period of history's had it all. War, famine, fire, flood, pestilence and plague. Who do you call in a time like that? Who can you count on? Count on me, bitches. <laughs> Reuben K. The only horseman of the apocalypse to ride side saddle. <laughs> a man so humble, so in tune with the human condition, my gender pronoun is talented. I mean, really, when you get down to it, when the world's a circus, I'm the bitch you want. I'm great under a big top. I can work with three rings. And I've fucked more acrobats than Cirque du Soleil's legal team. <laughs> and everybody knows that the play ain't no fire. And everybody knows that it's moving fast. Everybody knows that the naked man and woman are just a shine and not a fact of the past. Everybody knows the fight was fixed. The poor stay poor and the rich get rich. That's how it goes. Thank you, that's my time. <laughs>